The response of the gas market and the gasoline or oil market to these shifts in supply and demand provide us a way of understanding how other things that shift supply and demand, like tariffs and quotas and other changes in technology, will play out. And that's the real value of having a model like this, is that once you've put things into the supply and demand context, you can use that apparatus to answer a whole range of questions once you figure out how they affect either the supply side or the demand side of the market. That's the real power of the theory. And so often today, people say, well, if I want to understand the impact of a change in the corporate tax rate, or I want to understand the impact of some other policy change, I need an experiment that does that. I need an experiment that corresponds very closely to the question I'm interested in. And the power of price theory is to say, I don't need that. I just need something that operates through the same mechanism and I can answer the question. And it could be a very different experiment in some sense than the question I'm trying to ask. And the more simple you keep your model, the more experiments will fit in the same bucket and can be answered with the same tools. And that to me is the, one of the major values of keeping your model simple because it allows the same model to address a wider range of questions because the same model will allow more questions to fit in the same box, okay? That's kind of the idea. And that's the power of kind of the supply and demand approach.